in this video, uh, we're going to work on naming esters. Um, and so I've given you a molecule here to name. Um, pause the video, uh, try to name it on your own, then come back and restart the video, and I'll go through the explanation on how to name this molecule. Okay, so I can tell this is an ester uh, because I have over here some R group. Um, in the middle, I have a carboxyl group. Then I have it attached to an oxygen and then attached to another R group. And so the general structure R carbonyl group attached to an oxygen attached to an R group is the general structure of an ester. And so at this point I realize that it's an ester. I'm going to erase these marks so we can look back at our original molecule. And because it's an ester, uh, the molecule name or family name ends in O8. Uh, the next thing I do is I identify the carbonyl carbon and give that the designation number one or carbon number one. Carbon number two is attached to that and there's carbon number three. Uh, the carbonyl carbon, when naming, so the next part I want to do is name the parent name of this molecule. Uh, the parent name is the longest continuous carbon chain that contains the carbonyl carbon. The carbonyl carbon gets the lowest number possible, and in an ester, it's always uh, the one carbon. And so I see I have three carbons in the chain, and so that's a propane derivative. Uh, when naming this, um, I go to giving it the parent name for this molecule. I drop the E, and I end up with uh, uh, a propan uh, parent name. The next part I do then is ask what's hanging on in the other R group, or what that is. Uh, over here, all I have hanging on the oxygen of the uh, ester is a CH3, which is a methyl. And so the name, the substituent name is essentially is the methyl propanoate. And so this is the, the naming, the way to name this molecule. Okay, here's the next molecule to try uh, to name. Pause the video, uh, name it, and then come back and I'll go through the mental process of naming this molecule. Okay, so again, when naming this molecule, the first thing I notice is this carbonyl group. Attached on one side of the carbonyl group is an R group. Uh, then I have an oxygen, and then I have another R group. And so the general structure of this molecule is R, attached to an oxygen, attached to a carbonyl group, attached to another R group. That is the general structure of an ester. And so therefore, I know I need to name this as an ester. So I'll erase all these marks I just made and look back at our original molecule. And so when looking at this original molecule, uh, I know it's an ester, so it's going to end in an O8. I then name, need to name the parent name, and the parent name uh, must include, or we need to include the carbonyl carbon and the longest carbon chain that includes that carbonyl carbon. So here's the carbonyl carbon. Uh, it gets the lowest number possible in the carbon chain, and so that's carbon 1. There's carbon 2, and so therefore that's the longest chain that contains the carbonyl carbon. And so therefore that's an ethane derivative. And so to name this, we drop the E in ethane, and we add that to the O8 name. And that's ethanoate. Then as a substituent, essentially, we name uh, what is attached to the other side of the oxygen, uh, This the oxygen I just underlined. And so we have this big old group out here. It is, uh, one, it is one, two, three, four, five carbons long. So that's a pentane derivative. When naming as substituent, that would be pentyl. So we have pentyl ethanoate.
okay, this time we'll do the reverse. I'll give you a name, and then you're going to try to draw the structure. So pause the video, take a moment so you can draw the structure, and then come back and I will go through it. Okay, so whenever I draw a structure, I usually, I usually start on the right-hand side of the word and work my way back left. Uh, the first thing I always like to figure out is what is the family name, and since the name ends in 08, I know it is an ester. And so an ester has the general structure, C double bond O, O, and then attached to each of those where I left the lines are R groups, and then the rest of the name is going to tell me what those R groups are. The parent name is hexan, which means it's a six carbon chain. Uh, the parent name must include the carbonyl carbon, and so I'll give that carbonyl carbon a number one. And then I need six carbons in total, um, and that gets me to there, and so that's carbon two, three, four, five, and six. And now for the rest of the way, I just need to decorate that with hydrogens. Uh, for the name. And so I go ahead and decorate that with hydrogens. On the other side, attached to the oxygen that I just underlined, uh, goes this heptyl group. Uh, hept is a seven. Uh, carbon chain, and so I need to do add on a seven carbon chain here. So there is my seven carbon chain, and I just need to add the rest uh, of the bonds, our hydrogen bonds, to those carbons because there are no other substituents. On that chain. And so there's the correct structure for heptyl hexanoate.